Ever since the ending of Avengers Endgame, there's been a lot of emotion. If you sat through the credit, you were hoping for a post credit scene and you did not get it. Now we know why we didn't get it, and also why there was three distinct sounds. So obviously the post credit scene for Avengers Endgame is rather interesting. The Marvel Studios logo, and we hear three distinct sounds from Iron Man 1 of Tony building the Iron Man armor. It's the hammer hitting the iron, and uh, that's it. Each one gets louder. And naturally, a lot of people were discussing, what does this mean, including us here on the channel, we've talked about this. And uh, to me, as I made that post credit scene video, it was a farewell. It was kind of like he built the universe, and that's that. You know, we want to pay, pay tribute to it. So the Russo brothers specifically got talking about this, and specifically Joe Russo said that that was intentional because in the film, we see that the heroes in that film have their send-off and their funeral for Tony Stark. This was the end of his journey. But they wanted to somehow reflect that to us, the fans, and to them, because he's the one that started the journey. So a lot of times, if you guys see, let's say, for example, pro wrestling, when a wrestler passes away, everybody stands there on top of the stage, and they do the belding. They usually do it three times. Iron Man has the same thing with hitting the iron. So he said to them it was a send off from the real world to Iron Man because Iron Man's story is done. He built this, it was his sacrifice, and it was Marvel Studios putting everything into him to pay off and it did. So this was kind of their tribute towards Iron Man and what he's done throughout the MCU to how he's affected everything and how far the franchise have come. So it was really a goodbye and pay of respects. That's why the Marvel Studios was there when they did it. And honestly, it makes a lot of sense because without Iron Man, Marvel would more or less be bankrupt or dead and who knows what might have happened with Marvel Studios. Probably nothing. I mean, if you guys remember, before Iron Man was a success, we were literally days away from Sony getting Thor and Warner Brothers getting Captain America. It would be a fundamental different world in superhero history if that happened. So Iron Man is literally owed everything from Marvel.